Hey one we're in Tofino on the west coast of Vancouver Island. This area is famous for its surfing, um, storm watching in the winter time, and of course camping and gen just general sightseeing in the summertime as well. It's a pretty uh, popular tourist place. But of course we're here this weekend to do some fishing in the ocean. But as you can see the weather is a little disgusting right now. It's uh, rainy and it's stormy out in the ocean. So we're actually staying put um, on land today. And the forecast says tomorrow is supposed to be pretty sunny and calm, and that's when we'll be heading out. We're staying at the Crystal Cove uh, Beach Resort, uh, which is just south of Tofino, and uh, this is our first time here, and we're pretty impressed by it. This is a really family-oriented resort. Um, it's, it's, it's got a nice playground for the kids, and uh, you can rent one of the log cabins to stay in. We stay in one of the the cabin is called the treehouse cabin. As you can see, this bridge right here actually leads to a little treehouse over there for the kids to hang out. And uh, the actual cabin has a main bedroom for the parents and also a second bedroom with bunk beds for the kids as well. And uh, it's, uh, it's got a fully equipped kitchen, a nice fireplace to keep you warm. And uh, generally, just it, it makes it very comfortable. Um, it's not a big luxury resort and it's not a it's not a rustic cabin, but it's kind of got the best of two worlds. And uh, if you want to come out to experience the West Coast ex um, lifestyle, uh, this, this is definitely a place to come check it out. And just west of the resort, you can actually walk down to the beach and there's a really nice long beach where you can walk along during the low tide. When the tide's out, you can walk on the sand flats and uh, it's really, really beautiful. And check out the islands um, just outside the beach as well. And in the evening time, um, people like to go down there and set a campfire, um, just sit around on the beach under the um, night sky. And uh, it's, it's a really unique experience compared to other parts of BC. Um, usually we tend to visit a lot of lakes and rivers, um, but this is definitely very, very, very different to, compared to some of our other destinations where we've been to before. Um, so we're gonna get some rest today and hopefully we'll get some fish. We're gonna be fishing for salmon and uh, Chinook salmon and halibut. And uh, we're supposed to be, go, be going pretty far offshore. So hope, I'm hoping for calm weather so I don't get seasick. And, uh, and of course, hopefully we'll get some fish to show you guys as well. Fish a spoon on this side, um, a little coyote. Start here and then I'll put some uh, anchovy on the other side. We've been fishing near the bottom, just the bait's been all down quite deep. fish here, uh, put a 10 pound Chinook, Peter Spring, out at Portland Point here. 
Beautiful day, good job. Thank you. Except those first two fish, which can pretty fast in the first 20 minutes. And this feels like a good fish.
Alright, let me crank it down one more. Okay, straighten out, Jim. Yeah. Good one, Rob. Yeah. This is what fights me best. Back to throttle off. Yeah. Other throttle, other throttle. Quite a battle. It was quite a battle. Yeah, actually, it's quite big. Yeah, I, it's it, it looks small when it came up to the surface. It's actually pretty big. Oh, it's quite a fight. That was a soul now. No, he wasn't getting away. He, no. He hammered it. Pretty well hold. Yep. Yeah. Here you go. Take that for you. Yeah. Press of the day. I had to work for this. Alright. Yeah, Here you go. Here you go. So today we're fishing with uh, Captain Jeff yeah. from Freddy Mac Charters in Tofino. So we had a pretty rough start this morning, uh, but it was, it was fishing was pretty good anyway. So um, it was it was a little rough out there, wasn't it? Yeah, we we uh, we took a chance and went offshore to a spot called Portland Point, and um, 
yeah, the swell from, from yesterday's wind was, was pretty strong and heavy, and uh, we did manage to get uh, two right away when we, when we stopped. Yeah, in the first and, 20 minutes we got two fish, and then... And then it slowed down on us bit. for about an hour, and then uh, then another yeah, then I got flurry a nice of one. activities, yes. Yeah. And then we, we caught another nice one as well, so four, four or five pit, pits. Actually, we caught one more as well, we yeah, lost one it. Yeah, lost so five one. fish, and we, we, we landed four in about three. Three hours. Yeah, that's, that was pretty good. That's good yeah. fishing. Yeah, a little rough though. I'll get a little <laughs> seasick out there. So, yeah. So we had to pull in. We we well, we we in uh, inshore water now, right? We're we're in an inshore spot, yeah. Okay, for, so for it's helmet. a little calmer. So we're fishing with halibut. Yeah. Right now, and uh, you guys went out yesterday and did pretty well around here. We did, yeah. 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 So hopefully. But it's it's a it's a waiting game. We just sit and wait. And it is. Yeah, that's the hardest part about the fishing is uh, waiting for the <laughs> waiting for them to bite. But yeah, uh, hopefully good. any minute now. Yeah. So speaking of seasickness, I know I got a little drowsy out there today. Mm -hmm. So if people want to come out here to fish with you, yes. Um, what should they do? What what should they do in terms of preparation or that? Well, that's one of the great things about Tofino is we do have inshore options right. uh, if, if someone is very conducive to uh, seasickness. But um, yeah, I, I recommend a you know a gravel or a, a bomine or, or one of those uh, anti-nausea drugs before one one before you go to sleep at night and then one in the morning to right. to try and right. and keep yourself hydrated again. Yeah, water, just, drinking water. Yeah. A lot of people don't eat, and uh, that sometimes is a problem too. So. Right. Okay. Well, the sun is shining. It's pretty warm. Got to take this jacket off. <laughs> and, uh, well, we're gonna get fishing. Enough chatting now, and hope we get some help to show you guys. Sounds good, Rod. Thank you. Ratfish actually talked a couple times lightly and yeah, yeah. got my attention yeah, yeah. and then he finally commits to it. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, it's taking some line Going up. back down. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are fish around. They are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it all starts when we're getting close to slack tide. That's right. right. It doesn't feel that big. We'll see. Can't be deceived. Nice one. Nice little chicken. Yeah. Good yeah. job, Rob. Thank you. Yeah. Nice. Right. That was pretty fast. We've been fishing for about half an hour, just jigging along. And, and uh, that's the first bite we had, and well, it right away. So that was a pretty good day, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. The weather's turned out nice. It was a little foggy in the morning, but we ended up uh, getting some sunshine. Yeah, a few snook salmon at the beginning. A little and, trip uh, out so offshore. And yeah, the halibut fishing didn't turn out as planned. I mean, I, I was lucky I got one fish, but uh, the rest of the guys didn't get any. But uh, but that was fine. Yeah. Um, the yeah. usual calm water really settled things down. and. Yeah. It is good to have that option, especially uh, when it does get too rough with yeah. the wind and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And the scenery, you can't complain about the scenery around here. The, the, the ride all the way to the fishing spot is fantastic. We saw whales. Yeah, we saw, we saw a little gray, baby gray whale. And yeah. uh, the sea, otters. Sea, sea otters. And uh, what else we see? Eagles and all that. It's, it's, it's just simply amazing. So if you want to come out fishing with you, yeah. uh, how would they get a hold of you? Well, the best is to go to my website, uh, fishingtofino.ca. 
and uh, all the contact information is there. Yeah, and the peak salmon season and halibut season is when. Well, starting right now, kick, we kick off for May long weekend and then uh, go right through till September. Yeah, excellent. Well, yeah. hope we can come back to you and try it out. You bet, Rod. Yeah, nice yeah. meeting you. Thanks very much. Good to have you. Yeah.